You committed a crime once upon a time, now you want a second chance. I can't take my daughter on a field trip um, or anything like that. At Salt Lake City Police, there's a huge backlog of people whose criminal records are supposed to be getting expunged. It's extremely discouraging because I worked really hard to get those expungement and I've changed my whole life. People wanting better jobs, bank loans, or just a stigma lifted. Tens of thousands of them that are just waiting to be processed. That's, that's stunning. I'm Fox 13 investigative reporter Nate Carlisle. These are the numbers Salt Lake City Police didn't want you to see. So I have possession uh, with the intent to distribute. I have some forgery charges and a lot of paraphernalia charges. Misty and Manuel Lopez are trying to turn their lives around. I have aggravated assault. Um, that's on my record from when I was 16 years old. Uh, receiving stolen property, false information to police officers. A judge approved Misty's request to expunge her criminal convictions. Her husband Manuel is in the process. I'm currently in school to get my bachelor's in human services, but I, while doing that, I work as an intern teaching therapeutic skills at a recovery center. I'm working on getting my record expunged so that I can participate in school activities with my daughter. Both were arrested by Salt Lake City Police. In this PowerPoint presentation given in August to Police Chief Mike Brown and obtained by Fox 13, inspectors described how between 16,000 and 62,000 expungements had not been started. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that's very concerning. At current speeds, that 62,000 expungement figure, inspectors found, would take one person working full time 14.9 years. It'll take 14.9 years. <laughs> Eric Hutchings represented Kearns in the Utah legislature and supported the bills that made expungements easier. This is just Salt Lake City? Yes. Just Salt Lake City? Yes. Wow. Wow. It erodes faith in the entire system that I'm going to do all of these things to try and live right and sooner or later I'm just going to get screwed. I represented an individual who had uh, 13 criminal convictions on his record. Michael Holgey is an attorney. In September of last year, he served Salt Lake City with an expungement order. We have not received confirmation that the expungement order has been processed. State law says an agency must provide written confirmation that records have been expunged. But this email chain shows Salt Lake City Police have not been responding to Holgey's paralegal about the status of his client's records. If the rest of us failed to follow a legal order, we'd be in trouble, right? Absolutely, absolutely. This is a court order just like any other order signed by a judge. In Utah, you can go to a judge or the State Board of Pardons to ask your criminal record be expunged. Then in 2019, the Utah legislature passed the Clean Slate Law that automatically expunges low-level offenses committed years ago. The legislature gave the courts extra money to process sealing the files, but no extra money was given to the local police forces, who have their own records. Hutchings says local police need to process the expungements anyway. They're arrested at a local level, they're incarcerated at a local level, they're prosecuted at a local level by a local judge in a local courthouse. When Fox 13 first asked for this PowerPoint describing the expungement backlog, Salt Lake City denied our public records request, stating the document was only a draft. But when we obtained the presentation independent of the police department, we didn't find it labeled draft or anything indicating it was preliminary. So since August 2023, the Salt Lake City Police Department has made a concerted effort to continue to work on the expungements that are in our queue. Salt Lake City Police Department spokesman Brent Weisberg says a lack of information was slowing the automatic expungements, that the State Bureau of Criminal Identification, which is responsible for notifying local police of expungement orders, wasn't always forwarding information like case numbers. But we have improved that efficiency from going from a lengthy 25-step process down to a four-step process. As for the expungement orders approved by a judge or the Board of Pardons. And so the Salt Lake City Police Department has prioritized those in-person petition requests. Today, we do not have a backlog when it relates to that. But again, Holgey still doesn't have confirmation Salt Lake City has expunged his client's record more than a year after the city received the order. I asked Weisberg if SLCPD could set up a tracking system like voters used to check the status of their mail-in ballots or shipping companies used to confirm package delivery. 
That sounds like a great idea and something that if we don't already have, could be explored. This is an important enough function of, of, this, of the police. The PowerPoint presentation recommended Salt Lake City add staff to process expungements. Salt Lake City Council member Alejandro Puy, whose district includes parts of downtown and the city's west side, said the police department hasn't shown him the report on the backlog. If the report says that we need more, more staffing um, to, to process this uh, in a timely manner, uh, happy to support them. We were held accountable for all the offenses that we committed. I think at the end of that, there should be accountability on their side as well. We asked other police forces if they have expungement backlogs. The Salt Lake County Sheriff and Unified Police told us they have a combined 4,400 expungements that need to be processed. West Valley City told us its backlog, backlog is about 4,300. Wow, that is long, Nate. So interesting. What qualifies for the automatic expungement? And then what records require a judge or board, and, or board of pardons to approve? So misdemeanors can get automatically expunged after a certain time frame. If it's a felony, you need to go to a judge or the state board of pardons, as you said. On fox13now.com, we put a link where you can go and go to a state website and find out how to get your records expunged. With the list so long, why is it so hard? You, you would think it would just be, you know, okay, I see you, I hear your story, delete the file. Yeah, like we delete a PDF off our laptop sure. or something, right? Well, first you have to find the files and sometimes, you know, one prosecution gets expunged, but you know, there's three, four, who knows how many police reports attached to that expungement. And that seems to be what's slowing down a lot of this process. That 14.9 year figure we told you, that assumes one case gets expunged every 30 minutes. Well, something to point out here, Nate, to, to our viewing audience, this report, also, your report last night about evidence problems at Salt Lake City Police relied on reports that the city did not want to necessarily share with you or with anybody. So does the city still maintain that the public should have this information or should it be private? The city has denied my public records request for these documents. So the city's position is at least the documents themselves are not public. Uh, so we had to go get them on our own, basically. Mayor Mendenhall's office didn't help me when I complained. The city council didn't help me when I complained. Uh, but we got the documents anyway. Mm -hmm. Keep digging, keep complaining, and keep getting answers and exposing things within our system that affect everyday people's lives. Nate, thanks so much. Thank you, Kelly.